fler mord. Här träffade vi rättsläkaren Chris Sperry. Han har gjort 6 000 obduktioner och granskat 40 000 obduktionsprotokoll. Han har för vår räkning granskat utlåtandet som fällde Ari Mattinen. As forensic pathologists here in the United States, all of us know and understand that this, these findings are very, very common. We see these over and over and over again, and we know where they come from. So to say, to, to, to say that these injuries are something that is the result of a struggle or a fight is not, is not accurate. The location and appearance of these bruises are very typical and characteristic of minor injuries that are sustained when a body uh, is moved, when medical personnel say pick up a body and transfer the person from one place to another, and also the same thing, the same type of minor bruises or discolorations occur after death, again in the same way, when a body is picked up and moved and transferred. A pathologist or anyone else that a bruise is healing is when a yellow halo and green discoloration begins to develop because that's the body's uh, effect of breaking down and removing the blood that is leaked out into the tissues and that can take two to three days at a minimum sometimes longer but you're saying that a blue bruise could be several days old oh yes the bruise is described in this examination. Yes, if they occurred before her death, they could very easily be several days old. So they could have occurred several days before she died and they could have sustained after death. Absolutely. To be integrated with, compared with the seen evidence in the apartment, if there's no evidence of a struggle that can be found in the apartment, then no struggle could have occurred. You can't cover up and hide the forensic evidence. If, if there's a struggle, there would be findings. There, you would, it would be very easy to see. Without that kind of evidence, what you have is an alcoholic, intoxicated, delusional, paranoid woman who has gone out of a window and has injuries. Uh, the, and the, the, most, the injuries that seem to be most significant to the pathologist and to the court are ones that very easily could have occurred after she was dead. All in all, I could, I could not make this a homicide.